How's it going everyone? Lucian Sword here playing some more Brawlhalla for you guys today as always. Hope you're all having a beautiful day wherever you guys might be. Today we are going to dedicate this video to another Battle Pass skin. We've done a video on Fangwild's Heart Ember that was really fun and then the last video I did was on Puella Papilio Scarlet that was pretty fun and now we are going down the list to do 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 Dusk, Deathcap Dusk. He's got that mushroom vibe going on. Love this skin. Looks super cool. And the weapons look amazing too. I'll go ahead and show you the kind of more rare colors, I guess, that I have for Death Deathcap Dusk. Uh, they look. It looks really cool. I like the the hat changing colors a lot. And uh, overall, just a pretty nice looking skin. Let me know what color looks the best. In your opinion on this skin, I'm, I'm interested to know. For me personally, mm, I really like black and I think Coat of Lions. I really like that one, uh, but they all look really good. I mean, there's it's hard to say. Soulfire looks good. I think for the very first match though, guys, we are going to use classic colors. So wish me luck. Three, two, one. All right, let's go. Oh, wow. He's going to kick me right when I'm doing the good luck opening taunt. I see how it is. I don't know why people think that's going to make a difference. In fact, it just kind of amps me up to obliterate. Though, that being said, I'm not that good with Dusk. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, that's Karma. The pom-poms of death. Strike fear into his heart. Oh wow, he dodged through the weapon? Where are you going? Yeah, I, I don't know guys. Dusk is actually one of my least played legends. Like I do have him black colors and everything, but I actually very rarely play Dusk. I just don't like him that much, but when I do play Dusk, for some reason, even though I don't really like playing him, I tend to do pretty well. <laughs> I gotta give him the pom poms every time now because he keeps attacking me while I'm doing it. And he, he keeps doing it like like not I don't know. But <laughs> this is a really cool skin though for Dusk. It's honestly one of the top. I don't know if it's the top, but it's one of my top. Sorry if you hear some sniffles. I do have a little bit of a cold, but Aka stop me from recording. So he's on his final stock. We're looking at a at a three stock right here. Maybe I can get it unarmed just to show him that we got big muscles too. We don't need that weapon. And boom. GG dude, GG. On to the next match. This time I'm going against a diamond player, Ice X Noob. And <laughs> he has honor. The opening taunts are complete. We both picked up a weapon and now it's ready to get brawling, baby. I do love uh, Sir Roland more than I like Dusk. I honestly, I probably play Sir Roland more. Ooh. If I could hit with this down sig, oh yeah, it's gonna be a good game if I could hit with that because that move is so good. It's like one of the few moves I actually really like on Dusk is the orb down sig. The orb, all, all the orb sigs I like. The spear sigs are okay. I don't know what it is because I like orb and spear, but like for some reason I just don't really like Dusk. I don't know why. Boom. Boom. I don't think he's like, like there's anything wrong with it. Oh my gosh, I actually hit three of those in a row, I think. Hey, it's, it's not spamming if I'm literally hitting it every time. Like, you gotta dodge that. Uh, but I think it's just because there's other legends I like more that I think are more fun or have, I don't know, better sigs. When I say better sigs, I don't always mean like more efficient. I just mean like more fun to use. <laughs> oh, no three stock. Dang, we're doing really good. This guy's a diamond too. Like I, like I said, I don't normally play with dusk so if i could even win with dusk that's that's good to me if we can win by a lot that's like a miracle oh i think we got this one 
Yep, GG dude, GG, well played. Alright, on to the next Three, match. Two, oh my goodness. One, We're going against Zate. And Zate, I have fought before and they are extremely good player. This, nothing's going to test whether I can win with Dusk like going against this guy because he is really good. You can already tell by the way he's moving and going for strings. He knows what he's doing with that side. And he is just as good on uh, Lance, I'm pretty sure. Look at that. Beautiful patience. Very efficient. Oh my gosh. I'm lucky that Ground Pound did not hit me. He had a perfect uh, move there. All right, whatever I'm doing is not working that well, so we're going to have to change up strategy. Oh, I had a perfect read on that neutral sink. Uh, I did a down light thinking it would counter his side heavy, and, but for some reason it didn't. I don't know why. Like, to me, the down light should counter that. Get out of here. Again? Nope. Don't let him get back. Don't let him get back. Okay. Even stocks. Oh yeah, yeah. This is gonna be. This is gonna be like I'm playing ranked. I'm just doing experimental one v one right now, but the way this guy plays feels like it's ranked. I got a little greedy going for that recovery. Dude, I am like hitting these six really well. Almost got that kill. I don't know if I want to fight a, a scythe like off the stage. <laughs> With a with a orb is not like the best offstage weapon. Oh my goodness, we almost took the lead here. I just gotta take this stock out. What a dodge! See what I mean? Zay is so good. Even if I get a lead like this, it's not safe. No lead is safe against Zay. <laughs> I gotta go full on. Oh my gosh, I cannot hit anything now. No, no, no. I'm getting nervous now that I'm in the lead. The thing with Brawlhalla, like, even at high level gameplay, you have to not panic and get nervous and start throwing out random attacks. You still gotta be precise. Because a good player like Zayt, he's gonna take advantage of the sudden randomness and just punish hard. Oh my gosh. Uh, I'm still alive! And I missed. And I missed. And I'm dead. See what I mean? That was... <sighs> I did not play that well. Alright, guys. It all comes down to this. Final stocks. I have a slight lead, but not really much. And I might be dead. <laughs> nope, not yet. The Zayt's really good. Uh, and I'm okay, but like the thing about me and Zay is we're the type of people that never give up like no matter what and uh, It's gonna go down to the wire. I think because of that. <laughs> oh No, 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 no. I'm still alive, right? Right? Oh my gosh, I'm still alive Oh my gosh, how am I alive? Got him. Wait, what? Oh my goodness. Uh, GG's 8 GG. That was wild. He ran out of uh, wall touches, I guess. Oh my goodness. I can't believe we beat Zay. GG, dude. Kind of kind of got lucky there, but hey, a win's a win. Going against Minty. I think there's another diamond player here. And uh, playing as Ezio. I love playing Ezio. I I'm still trying to level him up. I know I say that like every video, but... It's hard to level him up when I'm making videos on other legends, you know? <laughs> But, uh, typically whenever I have missions, I'll do, like, battle pass missions or daily missions. I'll do, like, strike out and I'll pick Ezio first. And then the other two legends, I'll pick whatever legends I need to complete missions. Like, if I need spear KOs or hammer KOs or whatever. But now I'm, I'm all caught up on battle pass missions, so I should be able to work on Ezio a little bit more. But... I still want to make videos. Oh, no, 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 no. Get that out of here. Good idea, though. I like doing that move. If you can hit the Ezio sword down, saying slide off off stage. Oh, such a satisfying KO. Oh, my counter of the day. That was so good. <laughs> I didn't know he was going to do the down sync, but it literally, it literally went right 
perfectly into my neutral. All right, now he's he's shocked. He he shook from that. I think now he wants to fight unarmed to prove how how good he is, right? Because he he got destroyed when we were using weapons twice. So now he's changing up his strat to go unarmed, and it worked. And it worked. See what I mean? Good players adapt. If whatever you're doing ain't working, you gotta do something different, even if that means going unarmed. That to me, I respect Minty for that. Though I don't mind going unarmed at all, dude. I like going unarmed. Oh, that's game. GG, dude. GG. All right. Wow, we're doing a lot better with Dusk than I thought we would, but it's not like I'm going against pros. But we we're going against some diamonds and some good players, so. All right, this guy tried to attack me when I was doing opening taunt, so that's why I'm just gonna weapon starve. Like, look, bro, I would have given you a weapon for free, but you wanted to try and take one cheap shot, like right when I'm doing opening taunt. I'm gonna just teach him the hard way. It's not worth it, bro. Should have just let me do my opening taunt, and I would have given you a weapon for free, but you had to go ahead and do that. It's all right. Like I said, I don't care how people play. You guys can play however you want. Attack me during opening taunt or not. Doesn't make a difference to me. Oh, wow. I'm kind of surprised he died there, but... All right. So, we're looking at a three stock. Again. I'm starting to get hungry for lunch. So, I'm probably only going to play, like, maybe one or two more games. We'll see. I'm using the uh, Halloween colors, by the way, on this Death Cap Dusk skin. So, if you're interested... The Halloween colors actually should be coming back in a couple months, so that's exciting. I'll do... Oh, that's Gabe. GG, dude. GG. I'll do home team. Alright, here's home team colors. These are colors that were released for back to school. Alright, see, he didn't attack during my opening taunt, but he, he let me get a weapon. So that's, that's a little bit more respectful, you know. He didn't give me an opening taunt back. That's fine, but... Letting me get a weapon is basically just as good. You know what I mean? Oh, we went deep for that one. I might regret going this deep on a gauntlet user. Oh! Bring it on. We're fighting gauntlets off stage. Oh! Dang. I, I, should, not I should not do that a lot because, honestly, it's way too risky fighting gauntlets off stage. But if it works, it works, right? We got quite a bit of damage off on his second stock already. He's in orange, but I might be dead here. Oh, no, I'm still alive. I need to get back on solid ground because I was all out of edge jumps. Ooh, that's a nice throw. Nice throw, dude. Weapon throws are part of the game, guys. You really need to uh, get used to using them because they are really good at getting kills and just attacking in general. I forgot. Sometimes I forget, like, to use my favorite move, which is the down sig. I was using it really well before, but there it is. At first, it's really hard to hit, but then once you kind of know how it grabs, it's actually pretty easy to hit. Especially against people like Gauntlets or Lance that like to jump a lot. Because it does grab, like, a little bit in the air. Oh, gosh. We're doing offstage stuff again. This time with an orb. I'm not as comfortable with the orb as a spear off stage. This is probably I'm gonna regret. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Okay, I'm I'm still alive? D okay, I'm dead. <laughs> Alright. Maybe we shouldn't fight Gauntless off stage, especially with the orb. Even with the spear it's risky because gauntlets. Da da da. Go away, go away. Oh da da da. We're on final stocks. So I gotta not take too much damage here. Down sig? <laughs> yeah. Down sig on spear is kind of hard to hit with dusk. Ground pound though? To whole other story. <laughs> Look at that. Ground pound on spear is just too easy. Uh oh. I need a weapon. There we go. We got him on the ropes. He's in deep red. Just one more good hit. Boom. 
All right, guys, well, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Please drop a like if you did, and be sure to subscribe for more Brawlhalla content because I'm always putting it out there. And, uh, yeah, let me know who you would like to see in the next video. This is Lucian Sword. Take it easy, friends.